Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid My DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss it through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Kickstarting with today's agenda, according to the recent report, Real Madrid are ready to give up on the prospect of 150 million euros defensive goal. We are going to be detailing you through that on this episode as we progress and then shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as former Real Madrid captain and legend Sergio Ramos talks on his future amid interest from MLS side San Diego FC. We are also going to be bringing you full details on that in this episode as we progress, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Real Madrid have very carefully detailed most part of the 2024 summer, with Kylian Mbappe's signing their absolute priority. They have been chasing the Frenchman for more than half a decade at this point and will finally complete the transfer this summer. However, rumors of them pursuing a left-back and a centre-back were also in the air, especially with the injuries to the backline this season. Fulan Mendy had been dealing with constant setbacks while David Alaba and Adele Militao both tore their ACLs. Alfonso Davies was identified as the front runner for the left back problem, with the Canadian international not expected to renew his contract with Bayern Munich this summer due to high salary demands. At the same time, Real Madrid were also pushing for a move for Lille's young star Lenny Euro, who has been marked with a 100 million euros price tag. After reaching the Champions League final and en route to a 99-point campaign in La Liga, Real Madrid seem to have decided they are happy with their current squad. According to a report published by Cope, Real Madrid have decided to give up their pursuit for Lenny Euro and Alfonso Davies in the summer. They are happy with their squad and players right now and believe signing the two players is not as important right now. This is largely due to Fulham Mendy's brilliant resurgence over the second half of the season as he has now cemented his place as a starter in the squad. He has the backing of coach Carlo Ancelotti and is now also expected to be part of the French national team for the Euros. Antonio Rudiger has had an excellent season as well and with Edem Militao now fully fit as well, Real Madrid are in no rush to splash the cash on a centre-back as early as this summer. Once Kylian Mbappe sign, Real Madrid may move to sign another forward to fill the gap in their attack. They could potentially also go after a midfielder, especially if Luka Modric and Dani Ceballos were to end up leaving the club this summer. So we are going to be bringing you more updates on that as far as Real Madrid transfer market and plans are concerned in our following episode, stay tuned so you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we are now going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day, as former Real Madrid captain and legend Sergio Ramos talks on his future amid interest from MLS side San Diego FC. Former Real Madrid captain Sergio Ramos has stated that he has made no immediate decision 
Regarding his future despite the fact that his current contract with Sevilla expires at the end of the season. Sergio Ramos, who is now 38 years of age, has approximately six weeks left on his contract with Sevilla. However, it seems unlikely that he will extend his stay with the team after returning for free from Paris Saint-Germain last September. It is to be noted that Ramos has been a key figure in Sevilla's defense playing a crucial role in steering them clear of relegation battle this season. Nonetheless, due to uncertainties surrounding the club's finances, they have not yet offered him a new contract. According to various reports, Ramos is deep in negotiation to join San Diego FC. Although the deal has not been finalized, he will join them as a designated player, meaning he would be one of their top earners. While there have been rumors linking him to Saudi Arabia as well, it appears that he is leaning towards a move to the United States. The defender, however, remains to be tight-lipped about his situation. I don't have anything clear. I live day by day. I live in the present and I like to enjoy it, Sergio Ramos said as quoted by Spanish publication AS. There is nothing decided. I was never in San Diego. We are going to focus on the two months remaining, Sergio Ramos said. Upon the expiration of his contract with Sevilla this summer, Ramos will become a free agent. According to sources within the club, it is unlikely that he will extend his contract with his childhood club. Another source familiar with the situation has mentioned that Ramos has received offers from various clubs worldwide apart from San Diego, but he remains in talks with the future Major League Soccer side. So we are going to be bringing you more updates on that as far as the Real Madrid legend and his future is concerned in our next episode. Stay tuned so no, you do not miss out. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.